really like this cruise control feature. It's really nice. It really is. This cruise control is so nice just to have. Just relax and just go. What's going on guys? So today we're going to be testing the Ehora Romeo Pro e-bike. This bike claims to go 110 miles on pedal assist on just one battery charge. The battery on this thing's huge. Or the cool thing is you can go about 90 miles with just full throttle. And we're going to check, test that and see how that actually goes. But that's the claims. The link's in the description. But first, before you check out the link, let's unbox this. <laughs> This bike comes in two boxes. The front wheel here is just in the smaller box here. Pull all this wrapping and foam off here. Ah, they did a really good job actually packaging this whole thing. Okay, so this is everything that the e-bike comes with. Of course, you got your tire that we just unboxed here. Front tire, you got your headlight here. Um, your fender for the front, you've got your shock, got our pedals, and then of course the charger. So, okay, so we're gonna install this rear shock now. Okay, so to install this rear shock, you put it in there and then you just put the bolt right up under here, the seat here, put that bolt right under the seat there, and then you're good to go. Nice, big, heavy duty shock to handle all that weight. So looks really pretty too. I love the red shine. So now we're just gonna take these handlebars, pop these handlebars on right here, just by unscrewing these four screws, and then just mount it right on like that. So boom, handlebars are installed. So just installing the light here, simple, easy, just these two bolts right here, line up with these two bolts here. Boom, just like that, lights on. So in order to install that front tire, we need to turn the bike upside down. I'm gonna set that down like that. All right. And I'm gonna set it like this. Comes with that, like that. Tighten that down, and you're good to go with the tire. And while we're upside down here, we're just gonna install the pedals here by screwing those in. Probably took maybe half an hour. Um, it probably could have done it in 20 minutes, so not bad at all. Everything was packaged amazing. Setup was super easy, straightforward, so fear not, guys. If you're setting it up yourself, just watch the video, and it's really easy to go through. So let's get into the real testing. All right, guys. This bike is insane, and I, and I really mean that. And we're going to be doing more testing, and I'll show you. But first of all, I want to talk to you guys about the motor on this bike. So this 1,200-watt rear hub motor, so let's see how it performs, 0 to 60. Um, not, yeah, 0 to 60. <laughs> okay, not 60. Well, 0 to 20. Um, so ready, set, go. All right. Whoop. Here we go, here we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on. You guys can see that. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, no, oh, eighteen. Come on. Oh, I still got going up that little hill there. First leg. There's 20 right there. Oh got some good power to it to get you around town to get you up some basic hills especially like you know just on the pavement and stuff and it's got the Ehora brand motor here and I'm like I'm like 220 pounds and this thing actually does pretty decent for the motor size 1200 watt you look at a lot of the other e-bikes out there they're like 750 watts or 500 watts this is a 1200 watt motor here so the battery on this bike is a 60 amp battery, 48 volts to it. This thing is huge, okay? And so that's that's really the hardest bike. I mean, if you price out batteries, like just in the market, batteries are insanely expensive. And so where a lot of the cost comes into this bike, which isn't even very expensive at all for an e-bike, then it's just really just comes down to that battery, being able to just last you forever so you can really go and go and go. So the top speed on this bike is about 30 to 34 miles an hour as far as pedal assist goes. Of course, you can go faster than that if you're just going a little bit downhill, you're pedaling. And we're gonna see what kind of speed we can get on this thing. So. All right. That's nice. 
nice houses around there. Super nice. So let me talk to you about the design of this bike. Like I love the design of this bike, especially just like the, the style, it makes you feel like a motorcycle. Even when you're just like sitting on this bike, um, it just, it feels comfortable. Like it's made to really go the distance and, and I've ridden dirt bikes, motorcycles before and it feels a lot like that when you're sitting on this bike and you're just cruising nice and comfortable. The seat is, you know, leather outside, with um, memory foam so it just it really feels comfortable on that and the suspension on this bike the suspension on this bike is perfect for riding around on roads and little bumps and things like that it's, it's almost like a cadillac even the full suspension the other bikes are just really bouncy and this one's like you know almost like a it's just and it's a cadillac really i don't know how else to describe it but it's really smooth when you're when you're riding around all right, let me show you guys how good these shocks work. I'm gonna go down these stairs right here. Hardly felt that. Those stairs right there. Just kind of down those stairs, and uh, seriously, it was super, super smooth. So, so the brakes are 180 millimeter brakes. They've got some bigger discs on here to stop the weight of this thing and the weight of the heavier rider. Uh, the rider weight is up to like 330 pounds or something on this thing. So it's made for bigger people and it handles it really well. These brakes, you can see the two pistons here. It's got two pistons on this side, two pistons on the other side. So they're four piston brakes and it definitely needs it for this bike. And so, and then the charger on this bike, the charging that battery, um, it's got a high output charger. Look at the size of this charger. And they do that because the huge battery charges in about seven and a half hours from empty. So they need a big charger. And I appreciate that because it's a huge battery. So you need a really big giant charger. So, all right. So yeah, we're going to go and put some serious miles on this bike. I got my battery right now. That's at 96%. Just charged it, riding around just a little bit, and I'm just cruising around the neighborhood, and I'm gonna go take it out on the, the main highway. And we're gonna we're gonna see how this bike does, just in the hot desert sun. can hear me or not with all this wind. I'm going 34 miles an hour. I'm out here on the main highway. Hot desert sun. Just broken it here. The cool thing about this bike is you actually have a cruise control on it. So if you hold down the throttle long enough, it automatically kicks into cruise control mode. So you can see that it's there. I'm not doing anything and the bike's just going for me. It's just a bacon out here. This crazy desert. Woohoo! I'm going 23, 24. Hey, there's a sign up here on the side of the road. See if it picks me up. You guys can see that. Uh, it says I'm going 31. Uh, 30, that's about right, yeah. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it said I was going about 31, 32 now on this bike. Seventy-one percent. We've gone twenty-six miles. Just enjoying the road trip. Woohoo! So hot and dry out here. Out here in the Utah desert. My, my eyes and my mouth are just dry as can be. Okay, I'm gonna see how this bike does. I'm uh, actually going through a, a neighborhood here. 
I'm going to go up a really steep hill. Seven percent here. Fifty-seven percent. We've gone thirty-three miles, and there's a hill coming up here. I want to see how it does on this hill. I don't think it's going to make it, but I mean, this is the steepest paved hill that I know in the area. Honestly, there's a lot of hills around here, but this, this paved hill is this paved hill has got a really steep grade to it. So I don't know if the camera does justice, but this is it right here. It just goes. I'm kind of getting a run at it. Starting kind of back where I was. And I'm slowing down. 21, 20, 19, 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh no. Come on, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, stop right there, huh? I have to give it a little bit of pedal. Woo! That was that was like the steepest hill in the area though. So I wouldn't let that discourage you guys from buying. I'm just saying that's that's one steep hill climb. So do that, give a little bit of a a pedal here and we should be good. Yep, just pedaling a little bit. Woo! At least I made it up like three quarters of it. They actually have a Romeo Pro 2 that has a front motor that gives you a little extra power that would probably make it up this hill. But I don't know, I'm hoping to be able to test that sometime. So, but this bike's awesome and definitely still recommend it, even though you can't go up the steepest hill in the neighborhood because uh, you guys have seen what I've done so far. And I'm still at 33 miles and 64% battery. Like I said, the battery on this thing is amazing. So, Stick this trail here. Just uh, putting the miles on. Putting the miles on. Alright guys, I just spent the last four hours riding this bike and it's, it's been an adventure. Here I am just about dead as can be. Um, so look at this. So I've got 4%. I might be able to squeeze a teeny bit more out, but my throttle and everything's pretty dead. I'm just barely going here. I'm at 77 miles on my odometer and that's, uh, that's the deal. I don't know if you can see that in the sun, but yep there you go 77.2 miles so here's here's my thoughts on this guys is this can you go 100 miles or plus on this e-bike let me say yes absolutely and here's why though um i'm why i didn't get that so for me i was just holding down this throttle almost all the time even going downhills and whatnot i could have gotten a bit more range if i didn't just hold this down um so that's definitely something to consider the other big thing to consider too is i actually hit a lot of stop signs a lot of stop lights as i was testing this and riding this around so that's definitely one thing to consider is with all these stoplights and stop signs i would have if i was just going straight for a long distance i would have definitely gotten um at least another um 25 miles i believe at least and so if you're just going just you know straight stretch not lots of stop and go because that, that you know kills your battery uh the other thing is is i'm myself i'm like 220 pounds and if i have my pack on and water or whatever then i am um you know i'm heavier than a lot of guys so if you're lighter than me you're also going to go a bit further than i just did so definitely some things to consider overall do i recommend this bike absolutely this bike especially if you're doing like a i'm going to turn around here especially if you're doing like a, a road bike here 
and if you're especially if you're doing um, long trips and whatnot this bike is super awesome if you're doing like a road trip I would definitely recommend it now if you're trying to do like you know big jumps and stuff not so much but this is actually one of the smoothest bikes that I have honestly ridden um, just for the road and gravel and whatnot so it's a great bike gives you enough power to do what you need um, a few of the things that I don't like is um, just you know there's no there's no adjusting that seat height and so being able to you know adjust the seat is a little bit um, you know it's not even possible to adjust the seat and so as I pedal you know my legs are a little bit long and so it makes it a little bit difficult for taller people so mostly when you're using this bike you're just going to be using it without the pedals to be honest with you and that's okay because that's kind of the fun of using any bike but you do have the pedals there if you need a little backup assist or something just to kind of get you by for a moment so anyway overall i recommend it for sure guys it feels like almost like you're riding a little motorcycle and uh you know it's got awesome brakes it's got good screen it's got amazing battery which is kind of the heart of the whole thing so definitely recommend hopefully this helps you guys out you can see the latest pricing in the link down below so thanks for watching guys